Well, I'm back. It's Monday morning. Very early too. Seven. Actually, it's not even seven. It's like 6.45 or something. So quite early. You know, you got a beautiful, beautiful clear sky. Sunrise. As you can see, look at that. Sun just coming up over the over the hill. And there was frost. It's actually very cold these last three days. It's been uh, there's been a frost. So the the grass and everything was crunchy and uh, frozen stiff. And wow look at those interesting clouds i'm sure they, they have some sort of a name and there was a there was a certain point when i learned bit when we learned a bit about clouds and how they're called but i like i don't know i just can't hold it in my head i guess it's just not interesting enough for me to remember <laughs> I mean, it is interesting don't get me wrong but to me it's just still you know it's still just clouds <laughs> I'm sure there's someone who is as excited as I am about, I know, birds or butterflies or something, and that person is very excited about clouds, but it's just not me. Uh, but I love clouds. I love how they look and the shape, but when I learn about them, I clearly cannot keep it in my head, you know, uh, long enough to remember, so, but yeah, very beautiful clouds. Look at the, the mist coming through the valley. You can actually see how it how it see it? How it how it advances? It's pretty cool. Wow. Guess it gets pushed out by by well that's my theory, probably the sun shining on the part where it shines, it's push it's pushing out the the mist towards the colder parts, I imagine. Or, yeah, I don't know, it just works this way, who knows. <laughs> Good boy. You know, I wanted to start this episode with, uh, episode, it's not an episode, I mean, it's just a Monday video. But I wanted to start the video with, uh, welcome to the first episode of, uh, oh no, of, of first spring episode of Wild Walks Adventures. By the way, let's take it through, oh no, let's take it through here. Drake, come on, through here. Uh, cause I always love when we go through the orchard, I love how the trees, when it's the misty like this, how the trees look, the gnarled branches and twigs in the, in the mist, it's just very magical. So let's take it through here. Um, yeah, I want to start with, welcome to the first spring episode of Wild Walks Adventures. Just, you know, as a joke, but actually I don't think this is going to be a first spring video. What made me think that it might be a free first spring video is that really everything points to the fact that it is really full blown spring and winter's not coming back. Um, but what really changed my mind was yesterday when I was in the woods. Yep, we're actually gonna hear them as we as we go. I heard the first chiff chaff, you know, and that to me, that to me is a first sign of spring, like first concrete solid proof that okay we've got spring i don't know why i just i just i just feel like whenever i hear a chiff chaff i know okay this is spring really for real and for yesterday i've heard like two or three so i was like okay it is really spring wow look at this look at that wow i don't know if it looks as good as on camera as it is live but that is sublime wow absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous beautiful oh so let's stop and listen to the chiff chaff we're hearing whistles from starlings we're hearing nut hatch This is not hatch, but that in the d distance, I think we're gonna hear it better in in the forest. That, it's like chip 
chif chaff chif chif chaff chif chaff chif chif chaff chif chaff in check we say tilt top tilt top tilt top that tilt top tilt top tilt top chif chaff chif chaff chif chaff chif chif chaff yeah that chif chif chaff chif chaff chif chaff we're gonna hear it a better but that that right now was a chif chaff and we're gonna hear it better for sure as we go into the woods. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna hear it more clearly. So I'm gonna stop by and we can have a listen again. But that's a very easy bird to remember, and we've talked about uh, its its uh, its breeding habits and its nesting habits. You know that it nests on the ground. It's a ground nester, and that the male does not help the female with almost anything regarding nesting. Uh, the male really the the male sole uh, sole mission is to protect the territory protect the female protect the chicks and he's singing and scouting the territory and really putting himself out putting himself out there um, uh, to danger in danger and that's his mission you know but he doesn't build a nest he doesn't feed the chicks he doesn't and so on and so forth so that's a bit of an interesting info about chiff chaff um, and yeah for me chiff chaff really is a first spring first spring uh, first spring uh, sort of messenger uh, or like a messenger of spring so when I heard them yesterday I was like okay this is really spring I guess but then again you have this frost and you have very very cold nights nowadays it's gonna get warmer but still and next week it's supposed to get way way colder uh five degrees throughout the day minus five in the night so it's gonna be quite cold and kind of back to winter so i'm gonna hold on to that winter title of those videos because i as far as i was informed it's not it's not even astrologically winter uh sorry spring yet so it's gonna be in a week or something i don't know so I'm gonna hang on to the winter tiley just for now and but we were very close to uh spring and, and and i'm very close to changing it back to or not back to but changing it to spring actually and yesterday i was almost certain i'm like okay let's do that but i changed my mind because <laughs> um as long as it feels very much like spring i there's still winter in the air you know it's still still not there yet 100 percent but you know this is this is beautiful this is beautiful and it actually i mean to me this kind of feels like january kind of you know or definitely early february this like frosty uh frosty grass and then and then and then this mist that just you know sort of blankets the whole landscape and a sun poking through through the mist that's very to me that feels very sort of january -ish, february -ish. And i was actually surprised yeah uh, by these very cold nights didn't expect them to come i mean i, I still expected frost to come back but at certain point i was like okay i guess it's just not coming back really i mean that's pr probably this is this is what it was this is this was the, uh, this year's winter so very mild we had snow for like a week probably not even that and that was it um, climate change is real yep but uh chiff chaffs are back so that's a good promise of a of a spring coming very soon so yeah Uh, get a song actually a song I don't hear here 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ I just got mind blown by <laughs> the fact that uh, by this sentence so I don't hear here as often um, it's funny um, yeah and that song is um, is a blackbird actually the one we're, we're hearing as I was talking about the song of a missile thrush. This sounds kind of similar to a blackbird, but as you can hear now, 
it really is distinctively different. See, it's like, it's very, it's, it's, it's stopped because I think it's saw us. Ah, no. So it's very melodic, very mellow, very, not mellow probably, but very soft. Very sweet. I, I'm definitely, I think, honestly, Blackbird, I think, no, definitely, Blackbird is my top favorite song of all, all, all the birds out there. It's just, it, it, it gives me so much nostalgia feeling and, and it's just so gentle and sweet and, and melancholic sort of and beautifully melodic and soft and, and, and soothing. Soothing is the right word. Really, when I hear Blackbird's song, it's, it's such a soothing sound to me. And that over there was a wood pigeon. Oh, and we're hearing the chiff chaff. Sorry, I completely missed that one. So, this, tilt, tilt, top, chiff, chaff, chiff, chiff, chaff, chiff, chaff. That, that is a chiff chaff. That, we've heard a wood pigeon, probably gonna hear it again. But why I was talking about Blackbird, it's such a soothing, nostalgic, beautiful, beautiful melody. It's pretty constant, there is no changes, there's no variations. And it sounds like this. It's like a flute-like song, very kind of slow-paced, taking its time, you know, and it's it's almost as if it's telling a story. And I I just love Blackbird song. It's my top favorite song. And I just love it. I don't hear it here as often because Blackbirds actually did quite change with their um, uh, which their with their habitat and they moved a lot into the cities. It's one of those birds that became Ah, hear that? And stop again. Come on, man. It's like I whatever. We're gonna hear it again. <laughs> We're gonna hear it again. But yeah, Blackbird is one of those birds that became highly synanthropic. So it, it lives closely with in, in with humans and in human settlements. And and uh and yeah, it was exclusively very shy, exclusively wood forest species you know woodlands was its natural habitat and over the past i guess it was it's happening over the past last two centuries maybe or maybe a little longer i don't know but it's moved from woods and forests into cities and city parks and you can hear and see uh singing blackbirds in in the cities all the time when you're in the capital here in the Czech Republic, everywhere you see a blackbird, you know, foraging, singing, you know, and so on. But here, not as, not as often at all. So that's quite interesting. But whenever I hear it, I just stop and listen and, and really enjoy the beautiful, beautiful performance. And I hope we're gonna hear the wood pigeon because I was thinking about how to, because we have this funny, I don't know what's the word for it, but there's this word that when you learn something through, uh, through like a saying or like a, yeah, like a, is it, is it homoneopathic? I don't know. I'm going to put it in the subtitles, but there's this word where you learn something by, through a means of like, I don't know, like certain words, for instance, that go by the, uh, or, or like a, you learn something by a song or by a, by a verse or by a poem or something like that. And it helps you remember something like, I don't know, capital cities of the South American countries or something like that, you know? And we have this thing for a song of a wood pigeon and it's so funny. And I was trying to think about English equivalent and I think I found it. 
but we're gonna have to hear it in order for me to to present it to you but uh got a lot of songs here we got a wren long high-pitched one we have Parus Mayor, great it. And that's it. <laughs> so there are not that many songs, but I've heard like four or five, but they stopped. Uh, yeah, 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 the Wren is singing still from their same, same area over there, so still holding that territory. <sighs> And I was hoping he, we're gonna hear the chiff chaff again. It's it definitely, I heard it here yesterday. Ah. That is the wood pigeon. The, the, the deep, soft song. Do, 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 do. And we have a really brilliant. It's not a saying, but a thing that we that to remember it by. And it's really it's it's brilliant. It's exactly sounds like it. Uh, and we say upust uh, upust and it's it's in Czech. It's um, just um, just drop that. Uh, I just drop that pitlik. It's like a little bag, you know, essentially. And it sounds exactly like it and it's so funny when you hear it when you actually start hearing it in the song then then you remember it forever you know and i was thinking about an equivalent in english and i think i find it and i think it's find your purpose find your purpose <laughs> and it's not as brilliant as the czech version but i think it, it's kind of there you know find your purpose you know and especially if you do it in this in in this way, you know, say it in this way. Then I think it's pretty much it, it, it pretty match like it matches quite quite well. Um, so find your purpose, <laughs> find your purpose. That's a wood pigeon, and it's telling you to find your purpose. No, I'm kidding, but um, but maybe maybe you know who knows? Maybe he does uh, tell us to find our purpose. Because he's he found his. He's looking for a for a for a female right now. Ah, hear that? Ah, stopped again. But we're hearing the chiff chaff, which is nice. So chiff chiff chaff. Come on. Chiff chiff chaff. That. High pitched, very simple, minimalistic melody easy to learn there's nothing like it that chip 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 that is a chip chip yeah very nice and you hear it very often you know in the woodlands and forests and in parks uh, you can hear it in the cities as well and it's a very very quite common bird I would say and visually very very high like it, it's just uh, well. There's this term that we used as as uh, ornithologists that it's um, universally brown bird, and there is was a universally brown bird, so it's UBB in English, <laughs> and it's really it's it's that. It's just you know it's a very cute little bird, but if you would if you would see it out there um, with binoculars, for instance, it's very unspecific. It's like grayish brown, and that's it. And uh, it's there are ways to distinguish it from other uh, warblers, but sometimes if you would see them together, you would you would absolutely you would you wouldn't know which one's which. And if you check uh, books and publications, and you check uh, warbler um, uh, warbler section, and you see like reed warblers and and chiff chaffs and and willow warblers and so on and so forth, and you see for the first time as a, as a, as a beginner you're gonna laugh because it look they look exactly the same <laughs> but they're different you know it's the same <laughs> how, how is it with the with the james franco you know 
same but different but still the same <laughs> or something like that but the, yeah they're they're basically they look the same you know but once you progress and you start learning all those other species and the details about them and all that you're going to learn that they're they are in fact different even visually and there is a way to tell them apart but of course the best way to tell them apart uh, uh, apart from uh, behavior and, and their habitat, which is, which is two very important things, habitat and behavior. So apart from that, there is the song and that is always, always distinctively very different, even though they look very much the same or very similar, their song is distinctively different and you will learn that and then you will recognize them, no problem. But yeah. That's uh, Chef Chef, UBB, universally brown bird. And there's tons of birds like that. <laughs> so yeah, and, and you, that's why it's so, so helpful to learn calls and songs. Sometimes there is no way to identify a bird I want, unless you hear it call or sing. There's almost no way. Un un unless you're you're like holding it in the hand and you can see how long its wing is and you know how what is the wing projection and whatever you know but then you know that's not how it usually works <laughs> when you're out in in uh, in nature uh, but uh, out in the field but yeah uh, that was part a couple of new birds and the wood pigeon find your purpose find your purpose i mean take a look to uh, take a look i mean if you if you go out on your walks somewhere and oh, you have wood pigeons there and you're gonna hear that try and listen to it and think about it you know and and let me know if you if you hear find your purpose in there i heard it i don't know maybe you hear something else so like if you have a better english version for this uh for this sort of, uh, um, sort of, um, I don't know how to call it, like an like a manual. It's not a manual. There's this word for it, and I don't know. I cannot remember it. But anyway, if you, if you have a better sort of quote unquote saying for how to remember uh, what pigeons uh, song song or call, definitely let me know. But I've I've heard find your purpose in there, and I found it quite quite <laughs> nice. <laughs> find your purpose as a sort of a daily reminder to stay focused on your life goals and you know find your purpose <laughs> with pigeon uh the um the life coach you know find your purpose find your purpose <laughs> so yeah wood pigeon is our um uh, a bird um uh, life coach uh, that's that's pretty nice i like that you know that's why i chose uh, find your purpose <laughs> anyways i'm gonna sign off now